walking through the garden to walk and talk with them. And what did they do when they heard his voice? Yeah, they ran and hid. So what that is saying is what they used to do is run to see him, and they ran to, to fellowship with him. That's what Genesis says God did in the garden with Adam and Eve before they fell. He, he got to walk through life fellowshipping with them. But after the fall, God was separated and wasn't able to walk in fellowship with them. What's amazing, when we get to Revelation, God the Creator, God the Son, is again walking with us. In fact, look at Revelation 1, starting in verse 9, because I I love this. I, John, both your brother and companion in tribulation... I had someone come to me this week and they said, do you think we're going through the tribulation? They said, and, and they started talking about that, and I said, well... In the sense of verse 9, all believers have gone through the the tribulation as far as the struggle that people who hate Christ invoke upon us and, and, and resisting against our flesh and resisting against the world and the devil. But I said, do you think that the Lord is going to confine us to this planet when he opens the pit and lets all those demon hordes out? I said, no, he's already told us he's not. But the Christian life is hard. And don't ever think, the, the, the more and more difficult it becomes to be a Christian that we're going to go through. Because I don't know if you've seen, and, and last night Renny's message was so powerfully pointing toward where this whole culture is going. We are going to be sticking out so clearly because of our convictions of, of the Word and the Lord we serve that, that we're going to feel like we're in the tribulation, but we're not going through the biblically described tribulation. We know we have our blessed hope. But look what he says. I'm, I'm because of the, the testimony of Jesus at the end of verse 9. I am in the Spirit on the Lord's day, he said, verse 10. And he hears behind him a loud voice, and, and Jesus introduces himself in verse 11. I am the Alpha and Omega, the first and last letters of the Greek language, the first and the last, literally, what you see right in the book, and send it... Now, here's the second truth that I want you to think about. The book of Revelation